Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review The Beanie Bubble, the directorial review of Kristen Gore and Damien Kulash, which will receive a limited theatrical release on July 21st, 2023, before it will be available to stream on Apple TV July 28th. Uh, it's based on the book The Great Beanie Baby Bubble, Mass Delusion and the Dark Side of Cute by Zach Bissonette. And of course, as its title suggests, is about the Beanie Baby sensation, uh, which if anyone was cognizant in the 90s knew about Beanie Babies, uh, because they were a small, plush, understuffed toy that were posable, that everyone was going crazy for. Uh, it coincided with uh, the advent of the internet as uh, Beanie Baby was the first direct-to-market uh, consumer item and uh, was the first to have a website uh, and also it was in conjunction with eBay uh, because of the item's uh, limited edition for some of the uh, Beanie Babies uh, caused a sensation on the online personal shopping uh, website as well. Uh, this is a story that focuses on three women uh, around Ty Warner, the creator of the Beanie Babies, whose name was on the tags of all of them, and kind of how Ty Warner, played by Zach Galifianakis, uh, used them for their ideas and maybe bodies and uh, uh, kind of screwed them over. Uh, so it goes back to 1983 where he met a woman named Robbie Jones, played by Elizabeth Banks, who lives in the same building as him. She's in an unhappy marriage. He has a magical quality about him that allows her to feel seen and heard, and they decide to embark on a business together, creating stuffed Himalayan cats. Uh, and they are able to spin that off into a somewhat successful venture, selling these larger stuffed animals um, that, again, uh, were posable, which seem to attract a certain audience. Uh, when he created a smaller version of these animals, they didn't sell so well at first. Uh, while he embarks on a romantic relationship with Robbie, they're somewhat contentious, and the film skips, the film skips ahead between 83 and 93, going a little further into 96, 97, when of course everything falls apart for Ty Warner. Uh, but uh, Robbie ends up walking, and the film positions that just as a uh, 17-year-old named Maya Kumar, Kumar, played by Geraldine Visnawathan, uh, steps in as a secretary and kind of rises through the ranks as uh, his main idea maker. She's the one that suggests that uh, they create a website. As she becomes more invested in the company, she drops out of medical school and is trying to position herself to be what would be his COO, uh, but of course things don't go as she would expect either. Uh, also in the mid-90s he meets Sheila, played by Sarah Snook. She's a mother of, a single mother of two, and despite her resistance to him and also a somewhat um, contentious first meet and greet, uh, she ends up falling in love with him, also kind of um, misled by his initial demeanor. Uh, we see uh, some interesting red flags. Of course, he seems to not like uh, a certain type of consumer. He's obsessed with plastic surgery, even suggesting those that he's involved with romantically uh, take him up on the offer to have some nips and tucks. Uh, and just like a number of other films where men begin to have too much power, becomes blind to those around him and any kind of sound advice. Uh, the film does give us montages of very notable news stories that happen with the Beanie Babies. It opens with a large semi-truck overturning in a car accident and a frenzy on the highway of people stealing all the baby Beanie Babies that spilled out of it. And those are all very interesting things. Uh, I think that w what's more intriguing is how it's suggesting uh, trend setting and capitalism as a kind of cultural virus for us. Uh, but there's, it's also a nostalgia porn type of film much like another Apple original Tetris, or even this year's Blackberry, when in the earlier days of the internet, culturally, we were all funneled into one place and focused on the same things, and that's why everybody that was around uh, in this period knows exactly what these items are, much like uh, the Tickle Me Elmo doll. It's interesting to see Zach Galifianakis step outside his particular box, dare I say, even a bit unrecognizable, even though he looks kind of like Steve Bannon mixed with Michael Douglas. Elizabeth Banks is always refreshing as Robbie. I think that both Banks and Wathen, who this, I think, is going to be a breakout year for her with uh, the Ethan Cohen film Drive Away Dolls as well, I think both of them, uh, especially with Gorn's script, uh, really seem three-dimensional and interesting. Sarah Snook, 
who I also enjoy has less to do. And even in the end credits, it seems like the liberty's taken with filling in all the, um, the, the, the holes in the Ty Warner's relationships, I think probably suffers the most. Uh, all in all, I would give the Beanie Bubble two and a half stars. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.